the Nancy Pelosi con game continues. That 2,744 page, $1.5 trillion spending bill she passed in the middle of the night, well, it included plenty of worthless earmarks. I mean, there were over 2,700 of them that squandered more than $4 billion of your tax money. And many of them were, well, you guessed it, swampy. They doled out $382,000 to Dime Store 007 secret spy lover Eric Swalwell in a school district for Latin American support and access. And Ilhan Omar, well, she cashed in a pretty $1 million for Afro-Latinx immigrant COVID-19 workforce re-engagement, whatever the heck that means. And our dear Nancy Pelosi, well, she works really hard and she deserves a little extra, says her Democrat colleagues. So she got $40 million for luxury hotels and golf courses in San Francisco. Right here in our own district, Colorado's two Democrat senators were pumped up to hand out $3 million of your money to renovate a Best Western in Durango. This BS has to stop. We are over $30 trillion in debt and inflation is out of control. Earmarks are a tool of corruption in Washington, D.C. and make inflation worse. Nobody wants to be on record voting for this crap, so they hand out these dollars like presents instead. If districts actually need the money, it should be legislated, period. I'm proud to have secured millions of dollars for my district that were both necessary and passed through proper channels, not as political favors to buy votes. Earmarks are one more reason I voted against Pelosi's bloated bill and one more reason I continue to push for a balanced budget amendment. And it's also one more reason we've got to take back the House with fearless conservatives in 2022.